Hey guys, Axer Tech here for another video tutorial for you guys. Today I'm going to be going into a little bit of a look on a new program that I found that's going to help you sort out your files on your computer. So if you have a lot of files that are clogging up space on your computer and you just want to get rid of some of what you have, uh, but you don't want to go through the trouble of trying to find everything manually, I found a program called Tree Size, which is going to help you do just that. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my home page here and Let's go ahead and find the program. It's called Tree Size. So I'll just type that into Google. And the first link that pops up is the one you're going to go to. That's where you're going to download the software from. So let's go ahead and go there. And they've got a few different things here. They've got Tree Size Mobile, which is pretty cool. Um, and then a few other different programs that they have available. We're going to go ahead and do the Tree Size for free. It's a free download. Click the download button here. And of course, I'm going to choose North America. And you can choose to save it as a zip file or a setup executable file. I'm going to go ahead and just do the executable setup and click download. Of course, I've already downloaded it, so I don't need to do that for you. All you have to do is click save as and then go ahead and run the program. Uh, once you've done that, you should be able to go to your desktop. And somewhere on your desktop, you're going to find a little icon that looks something like this. And so I'm going to go ahead and open the program just so you guys can see what it looks like and what it does. Now, initially, the program is going to look like a, well, a white screen here. It doesn't really do anything until you tell it what to do. All you need to know is the scan option up here is going to be the primary tool you're going to use. What it actually does what you select, whichever partition of your computer you select, whichever drive, you can select uh, the C drive or an external drive, a flash drive, and when, when you select that from the scan option, it's actually going to bring up all the files from that drive or that partition, and it's going to organize them according to file size. So let's go ahead and just do my C drive, for instance. So you can see here, if I wanted to see what was taking up the most space on my computer right now, it's going to be my recycle bin. I have not even cleared my recycle bin probably in about three, three to five months. I've been busy. So that's probably going to take up the most space on my computer. And then there's some other files that are being loaded. This is a little progress bar here, this little blue icon at the top. And you can see recycle bins up there in the top. Um, my user files are going to be even larger. And this is everything that's on my C drive right now is being populated into this list of files. So at any time I can click the drop down arrow and I can see all the different files and different subsets of files that have documents and files in there that are taking up a lot of space. Um, my games are probably going to obviously take up a lot of space. Here's a few games that I got. So that's taking up a lot of space there. Um, overall, the main purpose of this program is just to help you find out what's taking the most space on your computer so that you can either get rid of it or manage your files accordingly. Anytime my computer gets to under 100 gigabytes of space on the C drive, I generally open up this program and I'll go and try and look into all of my different folders and find what's taking up a lot of space that I don't need. It could be pictures, it could be movies, whatever it is, this thing is going to organize it so that you can see what's taking up the most space, what's taking up the least amount of space, and you can actually go and right-click on different folders and different subsets of folders, and you can actually delete and modify them from this program itself. So that's pretty cool. A couple other things, let's see here. As I said before, you can select different particular drives. So if you have an just external drive and you want to sort that, you can do that as well. You can also view things in different categories. So you can view it as size, percentage, file count, and allocated spaces. So you can sort the files in different ways. You can also sort them by name. Or you can choose not to sort them by any standard if you like. Um, it's a pretty basic program, nothing super extraordinary about it, uh, but it is very useful if you have a lot of files on your computer. There's really not too much to show you here, guys. I just wanted to do a quick look at the program. Uh, if you guys have any questions about it, just let me know, 
and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks for watching.